This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Uh, now, a few days ago, you may recall I did a video where I was shopping for the cheapest I quite imagine electric guitar I've ever bought. Actually, it's not true. I bought a used guitar cheaper than that a while ago, but this is the, the cheapest brand new guitar I've ever bought from Bax Music. It is a Fazley, or is it Fazley Telecaster copy? It's in this box. Let's get it out of the box and see what it looks like. Go on, man. Where are you? So this is what a £52 electric guitar looks like. That's a crazy price, isn't it? Uh, when I did the original video when I was shopping for this, I said it's the uh, the cheapest electric guitar I've ever bought. I forgot that the uh, Frankenstein Telecaster, you can see it on the wall behind me there, um, that started life as a guitar that I bought from a charity shop for 25 quid. So that is the cheapest electric guitar I've ever bought. This is the cheapest brand new electric guitar. I've ever bought and um, I was expecting to have to do all manner of stuff to this I was expecting sharp fret ends and um, all kinds of setup work needing to be done the action is let's call it on the high side of average but it's certainly playable I'm just measuring it here that is I would say about two and a half millimeters uh, at the 12th fret I normally like it sort of one and a half to two millimetres um, at, the, at the sort of top end of the range, two millimetres, but, you know, one and a half is, is the happy zone for me. But this is still perfectly playable, and, you know, a lot of people, this would be an ideal setup straight out of the box. Um, I should get a, a little kind of box full of those um, nylon pop socks that Phil McKnight uses, doesn't it, to do this, because um, I will be able to show you that there is absolutely no fret sprout. Um, the, the frets are, I wouldn't say, you know, exquisitely finished, but they are, they have been finished. You know, somebody's taken the time to uh, round them off and, um, you know, they are a bit dull. They could probably do with a polish and these strings, uh, feel a bit, um, you know, budget conscious, shall we say, but... Uh, let's have a listen how it sounds. As always, I'm plugged into the Sonicake Twiggy Blues and just recording that directly into Audacity at the moment. It's set up with a fairly kind of uh, grunty sound. Um, I'll just give you the bridge pickup. That's the kind of sound I've got dialed in and... First thing I usually go for on any guitar is the volume control. Does it clean up from the volume? And... Indeed it does, you know, and... What does that sound like? Sounds like a Telecaster. Um, I'll put a link to the spec in uh, for this guitar down in the description so you can go and check it out. And um, I'm just curious as to, you know, so you can go and check out the facts and figures. Uh, I'm just curious about this. Is, this. is this finish here, is this a wood grain or is it... Well, I'll tell you what it reminds me of. It reminds me of um, back in the 90s, my mother, when she was alive. She had this um, finish on her kitchen cupboard doors that she did herself. She bought a, a special paint roller that you you just put it in the paint and you, you put it on the uh, on the cupboard doors and it gave it uh, this wood grain effect. And it does have that kind of look about it to me. I'm not sure whether it's um, wood grain or paint. Uh, doing its best to look like wood grain uh, but it's it's a look though isn't it <laughs> you know uh, it's um, it's I don't think I've ever seen another guitar with um, that color finish on it uh, we've got I don't know how many piece body let's have a look at the end see if I can tell it's going to be a multi-piece body at this kind of placement yeah one two three it's a four piece body with whatever um, finish is stuck on top 
In terms of playability, as I say, the action is is acceptable. It could be a bit lower, uh, but it's certainly playable. I've had uh, much more expensive guitars than this that haven't um, had this kind of, um, you know, action on them. And, and you know how when you get a, a brand new guitar and you pull it out of the box and it's as near as makes no difference, perfectly in tune and you can play it straight away? Yeah, well, that wasn't the case with this. Um, it was tuned all over the place. Um, you know, the um, these strings were... I think the B string was tuned almost like a, a minor third... The, sorry, the A string was tuned almost a minor third up. And it, it was like... I had. I think I had a an F, a C, um, a C sharp, um, an A sharp, um, a G, and a D sharp string on the guitar. Yes. Uh, there's probably some uh, some some style of music that would use that tuning, but um, you know certainly I'm not. But you know just in terms of the sounds, um, bridge pickup with the the volume control dialed back. You can hear the, the intonation's probably going to need a little bit of a tweak there. You know. Yeah, that's a bit out of tune. It, it reads in tune on me tuner. Let me just. Um, just double check that that it hasn't slipped. Uh, so we'll just yeah. Let's let's just do this. Here we go. It's the tuners themselves are a little bit well. Exactly what you'd expect on a fifty-two pound guitar. They work, but they they don't really inspire confidence. Yeah, that one's gone a bit sharp. Um, so. You know, this is why you buy a guitar like this, really, as, as a as a platform for modding, you know. Um, my mate Colin knows all about uh, modding cheap Telecasters. Um, I, I bet he's already kind of on the Bax Music website thinking about ordering one of these. Um, yeah, the, the strings are a little bit out, or some, some of them were a little bit sharp, but, um, you know, nothing that would explain... Oh, I suppose that's, that's made it a bit better. Yeah, that's better than it was, isn't it? So there's your bridge pickup. Uh, cleans up nicely from the volume control. Let's see the middle setting. Dial it back a bit. Neck pickup, um, you know. Yeah, it does have that sort of slightly characteristic sound of a cheap Telecaster neck pickup where it gets a bit muddy. Not the worst offender for it that I've ever heard. Just bring the volume up a bit, and it seems it, it adds that little bit more fur around the edges, and uh, brightens things up a little bit. Um, let's just hear what it makes of some shouty stuff. Again, you know, the bridge pickup is um, is doing the business. It's It's got a Telecaster kind of bite to it, really. Um, middle position with the volume all the way on. Uh, let's... Um, the strings are a little bit, um, you know, lacking in, um, what's the word, slinkiness. They're, um, they, they feel a bit like there's a bit of drag on them, so a new set of strings would be obviously, obviously a good investment for this. Um, you know, I mean, how much is a set of strings? Three or four quid? I mean, I buy uh, legacy strings, and they're, I think, four quid a set, um, and that would take... 
even buying them sort of retail price and putting them on these guitars that would uh, bring the the, the the cost price up to uh, or the, the the retail price of the guitar up to a staggering 56 pounds you know i think it's probably worth uh, the, the extra outlay <laughs> Yeah, I guess the um, the headline figure is that this is a surprisingly good guitar. I was expecting it to be, you know, pretty catastrophic and needing a load of work doing on it to get it playable, but it just doesn't. Um, the tuners, yeah, um, I'm going to have to have a tinker with those, and you know, it's as you heard. Let's let's see how the tuning has survived me doing a bit of bendy stuff. Yeah, that was the chord I was playing earlier that sounded a bit, uh, a little bit wobbly, but that seems to have survived a bit of string bending. Maybe it's just that thing that the strings are kind of uh, not the best quality, and they're new strings and haven't really bedded in yet. We'll blame that. But you know, um, bottom line is it's out of the box. It's pretty playable, and you know, it sounds a lot better than you would expect for a fifty-two pound guitar. Um, I am really impressed with it i did wait earlier as well it, uh, it's it's a light guitar not light as like that that glary that you can see up there that's i mean that, that feels like it's made of tissue paper when you pick it up uh this is i think 2.95 kilos um in terms of weight or so whatever that is an old money i do apologize my scales are only in metric um but you know it's it feels light but not insubstantial uh the neck Again, comparing it with something that's com comparable, I guess, is uh, would be the Glarry. Uh, you know how if you've ever played a Glarry guitar that the neck feels a little bit um, like it's in need of just one more go over with the sandpaper? Well, that's not like this. This is, you know, a satin finished neck and it's, it feels, doesn't feel premium by any means, but why would it? But it certainly feels a, a bit more finished than you than you usually find on um, on a glary and the glaries are eminently playable uh you know it's uh, but this just feels that little bit further over the line um I'm, I'm just gobsmacked that you can buy a guitar that that sounds like you've heard it here um for 52 pounds i'm going to do a full shakedown of the guitar including a demo track you know where i record a piece of music with it through slightly more um prestigious uh you know plugins and the the than the uh, sonic ape there and you'll hear it in a mix with with a band around it and everything and do like a full um review of it but that will be coming in a few days but for now this is just the first impressions of the uh of the fazley is it fazley or is it fazley guitar and this is the fazley let's call it fazley classic series telecaster copy uh, with the um, kitchen cupboard door wood grain finish, I'm going to call it. And that is the video for today, folks. Hope you've uh, found this uh, reasonably entertaining. And if that's the case, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so. And why not give me a like while you're at it. Don't forget, as always, the live stream every Friday, 5pm UK time, where we drink beer and talk about music, guitars and all manner of good stuff. Fantastic way to kick off the weekend. I would love to see you there if you can make it. But for now, I'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time. Look after yourselves, folks. Folks, stay well, stay safe, and above all, stay sane. Bye for now.